For decades, the field of cosmology has been anchored by the belief that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. However, recent observations from the Webb telescope have challenged this notion, unveiling galaxies that appear surprisingly mature at the universe's infancy. Concurrently, measurements of the universe's expansion rate suggest an acceleration prompting the introduction of enigmatic concepts like dark energy to explain this phenomenon. Now, a controversial new paper is shaking the foundations of cosmology by proposing a radical shift, doubling the age of the universe while eliminating the need for both dark matter and dark energy. Join me as we delve into this provocative theory and explore its implications for our understanding of the cosmos. In the early universe, galaxies observed hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang exhibit astonishingly mature characteristics, akin to those seen billions of years later. Despite efforts to reconcile this discrepancy by adjusting star and galaxy formation models, lingering concerns persist over their adequacy in providing a definitive solution. But what unfolds when astronomers stumble upon galaxies with exceptionally high redshifts? Determining the age of globular clusters often employed as benchmarks, may prove insufficient to either validate or refute a model's prediction of the universe's age. This is because globular cluster age assessments are contingent on models, which have historically undergone revision when a star or cluster's age exceeds the universe's accepted age. Consider the Methuselah star, a metal-poor sub-giant star in the constellation Libra, approximately 200 light-years away. Initially estimated to be 14.5 billion years old, its age fell beyond the universe's accepted age window, compelling a downward revision to a more palatable 12 billion years. Imagine a scenario where astronomers are liberated from the constraint of reconciling stellar age below 13.8 billion years. What new insights and possibilities would emerge in the quest to unravel the cosmos's mysteries? Laurenti de Andres pioneered a novel approach to gauge the age of globular clusters leveraging the abundance of blue straggler stars as a distinctive marker. Analyzing 56 globular clusters housing such stars, his findings aligned with those derived from alternative methodologies, save for one exception. Notably, NGC 104 stood out, exhibiting an age estimate ranging between 19.4 and 20.3 billion years. This divergence could potentially stem from the presence of an intermediary black hole nestled within the cluster's core, However, the Andres underscores that if the age determination holds true, it could fundamentally change the prevailing notion of a universe dominated by dark energy. In 2023, Rajendra Gupta, an adjunct professor of physics at the University of Ottawa, made waves with a paper challenging the prevailing understanding of the universe's age. Gupta suggested that the universe might be 26.7 billion years old, nearly double the current accepted age. The determination of the age of the universe relies heavily on the interpretation of redshift observed from distant celestial objects. Fritz Zwicky, a Swiss astronomer, put forward the tired light model in the 1920s as an alternative explanation for the redshift of galaxies, departing from the conventional Doppler effect interpretation which attributed redshift to galaxies moving away from us. Zwicky proposed that light, as it traveled immense cosmic distances, gradually loses energy, leading to a stretching of its wavelength and the observed redshift. Zwicky's tired light model posits that photons lose energy through interactions with matter or some other yet-to-be-understood mechanism, resulting in their wavelength stretching out and appearing redshifted. While initially intriguing, this model encountered significant challenges. It struggled to account for key astronomical observations, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation, and face scrutiny from more comprehensive studies of redshift and light behavior over cosmological distances. Consequently, the tired light model failed to gain widespread acceptance in modern cosmology. In Gupta's paper, he proposes a novel perspective, integrating Zwicky's tired light model into an expanding universe framework. This reinterpretation offered a hybrid explanation for redshift, suggesting that it might not solely stem from cosmic expansion but could involve additional factors. Gupta also introduced the concept of evolving coupling constants, building upon the pioneering work of Dirac, a distinguished theoretical physicist renowned for his contributions to quantum mechanics and quantum field theory. 
In the realm of quantum field theory, coupling constants serve as pivotal metrics, delineating the intensity of interactions among diverse particles through the exchange of force-carrying particles. Dirac proposed the notion that the fundamental constants of nature, such as the coupling constants, might actually vary over space and time. This concept was in line with his broader philosophical outlook, which suggested that the fundamental laws of nature should be simple and elegant, possibly even evolving towards a more elegant state. The idea of varying fundamental constants has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. If proven true, it would challenge the notion of constants being truly constant and could provide insights into the underlying structure of the universe. However, Testing this idea experimentally is extremely challenging, and as of now, there is no conclusive evidence supporting such variations in fundamental constants. In Gupta's seminal paper, he extends Dirac's idea of evolving constants to increase the formation time of early galaxies observed by the Webb telescope, by allowing for this time extension from mere hundreds of millions to several billion years Gupta offers a compelling rationale for the advanced development stage and mass observed in these ancient galactic structures. Furthermore, Gupta's proposal necessitates a reassessment of the conventional interpretation of the cosmological constant. Traditionally associated with dark energy, supposedly driving the universe's accelerated expansion. Instead, he posits that this constant reflects the evolution of the coupling constant representing a paradigm shift in our understanding of cosmic dynamics. He termed it the Co-Varying Coupling Constant and Tired Light Model, or CCC plus TL for short. In March 2024, Gupta expanded on his earlier research with a new paper aimed at testing its compatibility with the observed position of Baryon Acoustic Oscillation Features, BAO, within the large-scale distribution of galaxies. BAO features are significant landmarks within the cosmic web, originating from sound waves propagating through the baryon photon plasma when photons and baryons decoupled in the early universe, paving the way for radiation to traverse space freely. These primordial sound waves left imprints as tiny temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation, which serve as a cosmic blueprint of the early universe. Over time, these fluctuations evolved into the vast cosmic structures we observe today, with galaxies clustering around high-density regions of perturbations. The observed weakness of the BAO features suggests a specific ratio of baryonic matter to dark matter, approximately a 1 to 5 ratio. A universe dominated solely by baryons would exhibit much stronger BOA features than what is observed. Gupta's groundbreaking discovery lies in his model's ability to elucidate the characteristics of the BAO without invoking the presence of dark matter. By incorporating his theoretical framework, Gupta effectively demonstrates that baryonic matter alone can account for the observed distribution of galaxies and their associated BAO features. Gupta's model not only challenges the existing cosmological theories, but also motivates the development of new observational techniques and interdisciplinary approaches to deepen our understanding of the universe's fundamental properties in evolution, which could be summarized as follows. Number one, revision of fundamental cosmological principles. The model challenges some fundamental assumptions of the standard cosmological models, such as the lambda cold dark model. By proposing alternative framework that incorporates concepts like co-varying coupling constants and time variations in fundamental constants, it promotes a re-evaluation of our understanding of the universe's evolution and structure. Number two, interpretation of observational data. The model's predictions and parameters affect the interpretation of observational data across different cosmological probes, including cosmic microwave background, baryon acoustic oscillations, and Big Bang nuclear synthesis. It highlights the importance of re-analyzing existing data and designing future observational campaigns tailored to the CCC plus TL model to test its predictions and constraints. Number three, composition of the universe. The model's implication that all critical density is comprised of baryonic matter without the need for dark matter suggests a significant departure from the current understanding of the universe's composition. This challenges the prevalent paradigm where dark matter plays a crucial role in shaping large-scale structures 
and gravitational interactions in the cosmos. Number four, testing new observational techniques. The model opens avenues for testing new observational techniques that can discern between its predictions and those of standard cosmological models. For example, proposed methods for the detection of redshift drift and variations in coupling constants could provide direct empirical tests of the model's predictions and help distinguish it from alternative theories. And number five, integration with multi-messenger astronomy. As multi-messenger astronomy continues to advance, incorporating high-energy astrophysics and particle physics, the model's implications may extend beyond traditional cosmology. It could provide insights into the connection between cosmological evolution, particle physics phenomena, and astrophysical processes across different scales and epochs. Although this model still holds with a Big Bang origin, the incorporation of a tired light model and allowing for a universe with evolving coupling constants is a very intriguing development. One point to note is that the paper is yet to be peer-reviewed. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time. <laughs>